Today we have Tim McCall on Let's Talk, and Tim is one of the, the driving forces behind our <laughs> annual barbecue festival, if not the driving force. Tim, welcome to Let's Talk. Thank you very much. Good to be here. And, hey, man, you've got a special uh, edition this year. We are a two-day festival now. We Tell are. me about, about uh, I know this is probably something that you envisioned mm. when you started it, growing it. And t tell me how it happened. Well, well naturally, we, um, when, when the event started, it's gotten bigger every year, and we're proud of that. But we have some great um, you know, local sponsors, which you'll see on your channel here before it's too long. And uh, Ritter Communications uh, approached us about trying to help make this a two-day event. And they're our big sponsor. They're our stage sponsor. And uh, as, as much as anybody, they're the event sponsor. Uh, as well as our AMP Commission. Um, we have a lot of different um, entities and, and businesses in town that help us, um, not only with some finances, but mostly in kind mm -hmm. and, uh, and just support. So, but Ritter Communications, we met uh, after the last year's event and started discussing uh, with a number of people about how to make it a two-day event and is it feasible and, and, uh, and it was and, you know, it, it takes a little more money, but we were able to, you know, keep things um, very financially tight, if you will. Right. <laughs> you have to. Right. Uh, but uh, no, it's it's been a it's been an interesting uh, eight months anyway, and we're almost there, and uh, looking forward to it. And I expect this to be the biggest and probably one of the best events we've had. So I su suspect it will be. Now, tell, how many years have you been d doing this? We started doing this. In 2009, it was the sesquicentennial celebration, yeah. and um, so this is the tenth one. It's the tenth actual year we've done it, but it's right. actually the ninth annual downtown Jonesboro Barbecue Fest. Oh, okay. Because the first it started was, with the sesquicentennial. Yes, okay. But I I lump it all together. It still worked and it every really year. Is. And, uh, <laughs> it's been it took ten the years. Same work, hasn't it? I never yeah. thought I never thought it would be. It's really cool it that get, it's grown. We get to this point, but yeah, I'm, I'm proud. We're all of us are, and and. Uh, as soon as the event's over with, we don't eat barbecue for, for a while and then um, <laughs> start talking about next year. So That's wonderful. Well, tell us, you know, everybody who's been to it knows a little bit about what's going on, but tell us uh, <clears throat> what, what we're expecting this year. I know we've got two really uh, nationally known acts, if mm -hmm. not internationally, and uh, I keep thinking of the Shrek movie. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the bands, first of all. Well, uh, Fuel is going to be playing Friday, uh, Friday night, September 28th, and they'll come on about 8 o'clock. Um, and their American rock band was formed in 1994, have uh, a lot of hits, Shimmer, Hemorrhage, Bad Day, uh, Innocence, a lot of songs you hear on the radio, you may just not know who sang it, you know. Right, right. Um, they're going to be really good. I'm looking forward to that. That's Friday night, and um, Smash Mouth um, started in the 90s as well, and they have a, a lot of hits as well. Um, did a lot of Monkees and Beatles covers and things like that, but um, they did have a theme song in, in Shrek You're right. as well. And, hey, uh, now you're an all-star. All-star, yeah. And uh, so, you know, this year we're, we're looking at, they're playing Saturday night at 8, but we're doing uh, a little bit type of different music we have. You know, everybody says, when you get a rock band, everybody says, why don't you do country? Well, when you get a country band, why, why don't, don't you do you rock? rock? And I, I mean, I am proud to say the fact, you know, over a nine year period, we've had such a diverse type of music. We're not sticking every right. year with country. Right. There's been some years we had Lee Bryce and Easton Corbin the next year, mm -hmm. but we've had Rick Springfield, we've had Commodores, mm -hmm. uh, 30 X Special, Classic Rock, Brett Michaels. Right. Um, so we've had a lot of different type of music over, uh, you know, no the period. Question. This is kind of the first, um, if you want to call it alternative right. slash pop type uh, music that we've had. So just kind of rounding out the... I think it'll be a success. And plus, it's not the only music you've got. Oh, you, oh, not you, at all. Day-long music. Further Down is Reuniting. It's a, a local band who's nationally recognized or, when they were together. Um, they're back together, and they're going to be playing. They're opening up for um, Fuel. Okay. And then we've got probably 12 other bands um, that are going to be playing throughout the day. Star Roy's going to get back together on the Skinny J stage down in the main. Um, I'm really excited about a band from Florida called the White Caps um, that are coming and they're opening up for Smash Mouth. Okay. And um, uh, they're kind of a, 
they're they're a rock band similar to Creed or someone like that. Okay. But um, really excited about them. They do a lot of festivals and things and play at Floribama. I think they're the house right. band at Floribama and, and at the hangout right? in Gulf Shores. So that's funny. Um, that's good. So we're looking forward to them and they're looking forward to coming to Arkansas for a first time. I visit, bet they so. are. Yeah. Well, they're going to be greeted by a good crowd because they always are. The mm -hmm. bands always are. And, People are excited and we have all sorts of food and festivities. Tell us some of the experiences that people have when they come enjoy. What do they enjoy? Well, most? you know, we, like I said, the music will start um, Saturday around noon hour okay. and there'll be bands all day and there'll be bands starting about three o'clock on the main stage um, on Saturday. Okay. Um, we have more vendors this year than we ever have food really? vendors and other arts and crafts vendors. In fact, they're, they're still reaching out to um, Kathy Franz, who helps us with on the vendor stuff, and Lindsay um, at the Downtown Jonesboro Association. Lindsay Wingo, yeah. Lindsay Wingo. And um, so th they help us with the vendors. Uh, there's a lot of food. I mean, you know, it's kind of like, I guess, going to the fair is the closest right. thing I can tell you. But we do have a lot of food vendors from barbecue to euros to Fried Twinkies, to, you know, all kinds of different um, health food. No, <laughs> no health food. I don't think, unless you want to eat a snow cone, maybe. But yeah, ice without. But uh, <laughs> there's there's going to be a lot of different things this year, um, um, and there is a lot of barbecue. And just as a reminder, you know, the barbecue event on Saturday and the steak cook off on on Friday night, um, both are championship competitions. SCA does the steak, and then the Kansas City Barbecue Association section the uh, right. barbecue fest um, those grillers or cookers aren't able to give you or sell their food a lot of people think they can come down there and buy a barbecue from the people in the contest but the Doesn't work government won't let you do that and um, as you can imagine and uh, because they have to inspect they do they do and uh, and they're working I mean it's a job to them you know they're not yeah but um, Friday night's a little more laid back and, and again we have several bands uh, further down, I said, is um, opening for fuel, and then a gentleman named Mark Tucker, who used to be from Jonesboro, um, used to be a sports director at KIT oh, okay. years ago. He has a band, and they're coming from Fayetteville, <laughs> and they're very good. We've heard them as well. So uh, a lot of a lot of talent, a lot of different type of music. The band Trips going to be playing on Saturday. Uh, um, the, the three the triplets. The triplets, and they're yeah. they're they're really good. If you haven't heard they, them, I have heard them, and they are so, good. They are the, um, the, the sons of Trey Stafford, Trey Stafford so, and Jenna, which so. is mind-boggling. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, they, they do. They perform very well, and, and we don't bring, they're, we're expecting people to come just to see them as well. So, uh, but, uh, and then there will be stuff for the kids. There will be the blow-up right. toys. Hijinks is, is helping us with that. and um, Bounce houses and things mm -hmm. like that. There's some race cars that'll be down there. Um, I understand that Harley Davidson is bringing a uh, simulator ride. Oh, really? <clears throat> down there. So there's a lot of different things that we've not had in the past. So it's yeah, fun. Sure. It's just a laid back environment. You walk around and again, you kind of feel like you're at a food festival or at a fair to some degree, but right. then- uh, Without getting your feet dirty. Without getting your feet dirty, so. That sounds great. And, and you know, everything's free except for the buying the food and, right. and drinks and things like that. But the uh, but the event itself, the music, all day long is is no cost. Explain to people how <clears throat> you're able to do it at no cost to them. Well, that's thanks to Ritter and, and the A and P Commission as much as anybody. Um, the Advertising Promotion Commission, as as many people are aware, um, are able to pick up three cents on every dollar from the hotel stays that we right. have here in Jonesboro, and that money goes into a fund which is um, housed here in, in the city and and monitored by the finance department and every year and I had the opportunity for many 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 years to serve on A&P so um, we, were able, we were able to and still are able to give um, money to different events and it's all about tourism and, and quality of life as well and um, so A&P is a very 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 probably the main sponsor um, every year for this event and that's why it's called the A&P downtown Jonesboro Barbecue Festival. Right. Um, it's their signature event. And um, so when we talk about taxes, we're not really talking about true taxes in the form that people are paying here in Jonesboro. Unless you stay at a hotel, you're not paying the tax that right. goes it's, to help fund this free event for the community. So it's just really kind of neat. We're, we're one of the only, if the only event in the state, you know, you have Toad Sick Days and you have a lot of these others 
there are costs to a lot of those. Mm -hmm. um, but ours is really the only free, true community event of this magnitude. Well, it's it's amazing. I guess you and, and Jack Turner. Jack Turner are, had are, are started the... from literally day one when he, when he worked here at the city. And then I was on the council and we started working together on this. And, um, and it's just blossomed and you know it's all volunteered and we don't certainly don't get paid a lot of volunteers um, that help throughout the year Darren May, Kathy Franz, um, Paul Carter I mean we've got um, Lindsey Wingo you know a lot of people help um, and the city too I mean you can't go without saying um, how much in-kind support we get from the city of Jonesboro I mean you know you do have your police and fire Steve Tippett, I mean, the Parks Department, Danny, I mean, um, uh, sanitation. I mean, we couldn't do it without, it could not be done without the city of Jonesboro's help. Yeah, so. yeah, a lot of departments do help. And the mayor. Out, and the mayor. Pat, he's and the, very, and, very helpful. Uh, I'm sure old Ronnie Shaver's maintenance department does. Right, they, they, yeah. They're out there <laughs> and keeping an eye on everything. A yeah, lot of a, people who were taking pride in being responsible, and, and you guys, right. what you've done is amazing. You know, I think one thing that when I think about it is, okay, who do you call if I wanted to get Smash Mouth? Is there is there a phone book for bands? <laughs> How do I? Find uh, it? No, you you normally you have to go through a promoter, um, uh, and there's a small fee to it. But I mean, we actually booked fuel on our own this year. So did you? Um, but Smash Mouth. Um, you go through promoter and they help us. I mean, they help you do a lot of the transportation and flights and get everything, you know, um, kind of logistically right. put on paper. Cause it's, I mean, it, it's a full-time job to them and they do it every day. So you're better off letting them look at the contracts and riders before you have to look at them and sign them. So. And the riders <clears throat> that the riders are notorious, but, but they're not as, are they as difficult as the, some of the stories you hear? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, this year's not. Well, um, we're going to have some traffic. What do people need to know? I know there's. A, we're going to have a map. We're going to show. If you haven't already seen it, we're going to see show you a map of of everything. Yeah, I would. I would just caution people to be very wary of driving in downtown Jonesboro. Um, the stage is coming in Tuesday night this year because it's a two day event. We're having to start a little earlier. Um, John 316, I gotta give them kudos. They help us erect nice. the stage and, and do a wonderful job at it. John and 316, they always do something Those guys good for are, are top notch they and, really um, and they help tear it down after midnight, you know, on Saturday. But uh, the stage will be coming in Tuesday. They will be working all day Wednesday and part of Thursday when the sound and lights come in. And then, um, so there'll be some activity downtown. The parking lot, on Union, or I'm sorry, on Main, where the where the concert's actually at, just don't expect to park there Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday or Saturday, um, because it will be blocked and barricaded. And unfortunately, sometimes you do have to tow people, and we normally tow them down to the Chef's Inn parking lot just so they can just, find their car. But yeah, you know there are things that have to be brought in and out, and you know, vehicles sometimes get in the way. Right. Um, again, on Friday night, uh, again I caution people from parking downtown. We, we actually are going to close the streets on Friday, my bad, Friday and uh, Saturday, um, Main Street. Yeah. But even Thursday night, um, you know, if, you, if you're downtown and you leave your car, um, you know, just be aware. We'll have it's cones gonna, and, and things, so, so yeah. take, take that seriously. Right. You'll have to have a bag over your head not to realize that there's something <laughs> going on down there. So. But uh, yeah, just be careful. And there'll be a lot of people walking on the streets, so, you know, hopefully drive slowly. And, right. And uh, as long, you can park on sides of streets and neighborhoods as long as you don't block a, a right. driveway. And, yep. Some, or, or somebody a was water. telling me the other day, they're like, you know, I, I, I want to come down there, but I don't have to walk a mile, you know, and find parking. There's plenty of parking plenty of parking downtown <clears throat> at some of the churches and the courthouse and, yeah. and areas around there. And I told somebody again yesterday, I, I mean, you're going to walk less coming to the barbecue fest than you are parking at an ASU game and getting to the stadium. Uh, or largely the mall in yeah. a lot of cases. Well, yeah. there you go. So, so it's, it's not bad. And right. we'll have thousands and thousands and thousands of people down there. So just be just, cautious. Yeah. Just come on with it and have fun and uh, look forward to a real good time. We are too. 
Tim, thank you for taking the time Appreciate to visit it. with us on Let's Talk.